Hello kiddos, this is Shaz and here we are with a series of educational board games explanations. And uh, I kept this game aside uh, before we started the videos as I wanted this to have more of time on it and it requires brains, enough brains to just uh, open up, know what products are there inside the box, explore and uh, know what the game is actually all about. So, uh, if I at all have to give you a summary about planet, then I'd say that you are handling the world, complete plain world, and you are supposed to be building a new world. If at all I have to give a summary about this game, it would actually be literally handling the whole world and creating a whole new world of your own, where your favorite animals or your preferred animals can actually live in with their habitats and creating an environment where they live and flourish further. So that's how uh, Planet is all about and uh, we'll just straight dive into uh, the box to know what all items are there and how are we then gonna play it. We first have our instructional panel which actually you can refer any time in between of the game and before the game. After watching this video, I would actually uh, suggest you to just go inside the booklet and know more about the game so that you're completely thorough and there's no way that you get stuck in between of the game. Who wants that? That's a completely irritating situation there. So now that we find all these four of these, uh, you know, the base of your planet, I would say, and these are actually pentagon in uh, shape from every side and it has quality magnets on it so uh, these are actually metals and then we get tiles as such as this one so that when you're playing the game you would actually stick it over here and it wouldn't fall until you want it to get off the planet the tile wouldn't actually get off it so it's actually a strong one if you can see and so on will it just go along the way uh, you play with your cards and arrange your uh, planet to be suitable as per your animal. So now we'll just get inside and know more about it. So there are four of these, one, two, three, four, and then there are a stack of cards which I'll let you know what are they for. And there is this little uh, thingy which has a proper planet on it where there are animals and uh, birds and mountains and different areas where glaciers are there, glaciers are there and a lot more is going on in there. We also get a few of these extra magnets. If at all you lose any of these, so at that time you can actually replace it with the other one. So all these are tiles which has quite a lot uh, interesting visual things going on there. So there are water areas, there are drought areas, there are forest areas and there are, uh, what do we say, desert areas. So along with the game, we, when we go inside of the game, when we are trying to play it, at that time we know more of this. So now that we are introduced to the basic understanding of the game, I would let you know what all are there inside of the game. So first of all, we get four of these planet cards. There are these tiles, seven different continents. And the way we are setting it up is, uh, we first set up a stack of five tiles in 10 rows. So now that we are just about to play the game, setup is to be done in a way, in a specific way I would say, which is every player will have one of these uh, planet cards, which will be like a uh, plane without any tiles stuck to it. And uh, then we set up in the mid of the table where the opponents are there and everyone, everything on the table is visible and reachable for each and every player. It is very easy, the setup is very easy. How we do it is that we have our continental tiles here, five of these, okay? So each is like five, five, five and so on. So we have to stock them up in a five tile stock and uh, this is how it is. Ten of these should be there over 
the first row and the second row will start leaving two of the tiles 10 okay so the card should be like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and leaving two of those over there and leaving two empty spaces over here the first row will be our tiles of different continents and then the second row will be our card which I gain 10 of these and uh, then comes again leaving spaces of one two three card we'll set up seven of these other cards with the animal on animal uh, printed on it on the other side so this is the back side of it every card's back side is of a planet and in front we have our animal and its preferred habitat so we will just keep this aside over here and this should be seven of these are supposed to be in the third row and uh, there comes three more cards the animal cards over the last row which is our fourth row the first row will be our tiles Second will be card, third will be cards, and uh, the last one will also be cards. Now, uh, there are many cards in there. There are enough of cards uh, available with us, but then there are five of these cards which are different. Alright, so it also has different print backside and in front of it. So these are our national habitat cards, so players will actually have to hide them away and use them accordingly. So now that we are done with the setup of the game, we'll just discard or keep inside whatever planet which are not in play. So we, I'm just gonna uh, explain you how it's played in between two players. So this is my governor's globe or planet. To begin the game, what we have to do is that we are having uh, a completely empty uh, planet in our hand. And now that what we do is that First, we distribute these cards. So these are our natural habitat objective cards. So you can actually refer in the uh, instructions again if at all there is any doubt that you are having. So this is to be hidden from the other players. So what we got to do is uh, choose any of these. I like this one. I want to achieve that one. So I'll just keep it with me and hidden from all the other players. So I'll just keep it like this with me. And then the other player took uh, this very green green planet kind of thing. So he's gonna do that. So he'll be keeping that with him hidden from the other player. Other of these are just gonna rest there in the box wherever you want it to be. To begin the game is that we just take the first stock of uh, the tiles and lay it out in front of and in reach of every player. So that we have laid these tiles in front of the players that where they are reached, they can easily reach the tiles. So what we do now is that every player takes uh, his choice of tile. As I'm aiming for this one, I take this tile and stick it on my home plan. So now the turns are actually clockwise. So after me, the person uh, to my left would actually uh, take as to explain you it's a clockwise direction. So the person who is actually my opponent will actually take uh, another piece of it. As I'm playing from both the side, I'll get to see what's there in their habitat card. And after his turn, what do we do with the remaining tiles? Uh, we just talk them up again. These are supposed to be sitting here until we have another round. Now as I said here yeah, that it is to be done in uh, 12 rounds are to be played to get the uh, end result or to reach the end of the game. So when we play the first round and we have laid out our uh, tiles in front of the players and they are done with the round and then we start remaining which were three I just talk them over here creating an, another 11th uh, row of uh, 11th stock of tiles in the next round what we do is we again begin from the other from the first or the second uh, tile stock and we again lay them out in front of the player now I will just uh, collect my desired uh, tile and the opponent also does the same and that has been said, again we are left with three of the tiles. So uh, what I do is, 
I take two of these tiles, place them downward and place them over it. When these are done with five, I start another. When these five are done, I'll start with another uh, stock of tiles. And when that is done, and we begin with another game, and again we do the same, we select our desired tiles. We are again left with three. And then when we are left with three, we place these three over here in a stock of five. So then in the other round that we are playing, we find these there and I choose my open and do not choose his. We are left with again three. What we do now? The stock over there, which is last one, has four. I just add this one, it becomes five. Remaining two goes back to the box. This is not to be played now. This goes back to the box. These are actually discarded from the game for right now. Now after, as I said, there are 12 uh, of the uh, rounds to be played. In the third round, things are about to change. As you get to attract whatever uh, animal card you want to have, which are actually phased out in front of you, which are 10, 7 and 3. So now to attract these are the game to be begin. So uh, we have three different specific uh, cards which have depicted three different uh, categories like so and so now when we come to the first one it says what most area do you have so the players compete to know which is the area that they most have in their titles and in the second one see what exactly are the areas that they have which are connected to these areas like the water and drought one. So water should be connected to the drought one. So they have to count as in, in counting, we do not count tiles as one, two, three, four. Rather we count it as as they are pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. In this case it is required to know the water connected area with the drought. So I have one water connected area to the drought area which is like a mini triangle so those are the real ones which we have to count and which we have to reflect as per our card so then later comes the third category of cards where you have to see uh, if these are uh, actually not connected to the other one so the drought not to be connected to the uh, desert area I don't have any right now but that is how it is played so you just have to count how many areas you have of drought which are not connected to desert now that being said player with the most habitable planet would actually take the card and if at all there is a situation where there is a tie coming in so the card will actually land up in another row of cards so as i said if at all uh, we can check our card now here so when that third round comes in, and as I said to you, the three categories of the cards that we are having in front of us, we actually will keep our this secret card of us secret from the other players. And now that we are having our planet in our hand, we'll just see which of these, which because these are just selected randomly, so we'll just see the first card that we are handling. Uh, if at all the habitats reflected over here are matching to our uh, planet and then if at all they are then we'll actually take this card with us and that counts as a score for us and uh, so on the game goes on if one is taken by me then the other is taken by someone else the other opponent of mine if not and there is a situation of a tie this card this particular card will go and sit under the next row of cards rules that next follow when, when there is a tie situation uh, is when the card which is not the card requirement of this card is not fulfilled by any of the opponents then this goes and sits under 
the uh, last row of cards that we are having and then this is to be played in the next round that comes along the way and if by the end of the game the 12th round that is to be played by that round also this card is not gone this animal is not owned by any of the opponent what the situation demands here is that this card is to be taken by the person who has most of these kind of habitats so this goes to the other person who is having the most of these kind of uh, habitat or the tiles of by the end of the game, what happens is that when you complete all your 12 rounds and still there is a card which is not owned by anyone, uh, would be owned by the person who has the most of the habitats required by that card or that animal. And when it comes to these cards, then when it comes to these, these are to be just uh, discarded because these are randomly selected cards and then when we find one of these over here, we'll just take it and uh, move it to the box because these are of not any use so by the end of the 12th round one more thing that happen is that you guys might be wondering why is this for the moment i'm done with my turn i will actually pass this over to the person sitting next to me on my left and so does it go in a clockwise direction now that we are having our below here by the end of the game with the planet would be actually completely done with whatever uh, tiles are supposed to be sticking out there. When that is done, comes the part where we actually have to come up with the scoring. So how do we score? First, we just reveal, reveal our natural habitat card to everyone that keeps in front of them. And then, uh, where, wherever comes a situation where you are having your uh, cards in front of you, the animal cards will actually score more. Anything that is similar to your card, when you reveal your uh, secret card or habitat card, you will actually find here the number and the areas which are to be scored. And when you count anything related to the, these, uh, the secret card of yours, it will actually find us count as one point and the other would actually count as two points and by the end of the game uh, the scorings would so be that as per the collection of your cards uh, whoever scores the most will actually win the game if not that the case is then whoever scores the most animals will win the game that's pretty much about the game and whenever there is a doubt or anything else you can definitely always go to the instructions which are simple and very very much easy to understand so uh, that's pretty much about the game planet and i would suggest you to buy this online or even to the nearest store that you are having at your malls and at even at families and so on i would actually recommend this game for all the ages of child which are present at your home and whenever you are in a mood to just buy this game after understanding it own one right now by clicking in the link in the description this is all about the game and planet is actually uh, one of my favorite in the collection as it is not the mainstream or the mainstream kind of game which actually which are played in between uh, kiddos this particular game can be actually played in between adults too and at the end obviously it's always fun to realize that you're the winner or at least uh, get to know your ability to build a planet of your own so when you are interested in something like that just go in the link below and actually you can find over there a variety of games which are presented by our company which is Smiley Kiddos. Thank you for watching the video.